Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mr. Editor Day 16 back on your YouTube. Uh, decided to give you guys a really special treat. First of all, if you see my shelf up there, a lot of DVDs are empty. Reason why is because I'm gonna give myself, I'm gonna give you guys my top 20 favorite WWF slash WWE DVDs of all time, excluding the pay-per-views. Okay. So let's get to it. Number 20 is Bloodsport, ECW's most violent matches. Many reasons why. Why? Uh, first of all, it's TVMA. I'm just telling you, that's not the reason why. But uh, a lot of violent matches, including the Biola versus. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Biola versus. Afonso? I think it was Alfonso. I, f I forgot his name. Uh, basically, it was like a coach or whatever. I don't remember. Uh, he lost a third of his blood against Biola. That was a great match. And like it, it tells you a couple of extras and all the stuff. Yeah, Biola versus Bill Alfonso. Yeah, so so I mean it was a great match. Uh, a lot. There were a lot of violent matches. Uh, if you guys are into hardcore stuff, get this DVD. You'll love it. Uh, Number 19 is Hulk Hogan's unreleased series. I already gave a review on this, so you know why this is number 19. It's not the best DVD, but it was a really good DVD. It deserves to be on my top 20. Unless the WWE is going to make a really, really good DVD, I might replace these two. So, uh, Number 18 is Born to Controversy, the Roddy Roddy Piper story. This was a great story, and just wait for a second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Uh, so, Ryder Piper Piper story. It's a great story. It tells. It shows all Piper's pit. Uh, so you should definitely watch the DVD. It's a great DVD. All right. Uh. So wait, 2019. Okay. Number 17 is. The Definitive Collection, Ric Flair. It's a great DVD. Talks a lot about the story. It even has his retirement match, which makes it even better. It's a great DVD. You have to get it. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is number 16. Okay, number 16 is Ricky the Dragon's TV boat, the life and st the life story of the dragon. Great DVD. They just made this in 2010. It talks a lot about Ricky Steamboat. Uh, this was his first DVD, so it's a pretty good DVD. It's amazing that's in my top 20 collection favorite, because uh, usually when they make the first one, it's not that good. And uh, so, but this one was really good. And then number uh, 20, 19, 18, 17, 18, number 15. Sorry, I'm losing count. Number 15 is WWE Greatest Stars of the 90s. Reason why? Because it has all my favorite wrestlers, like Shawn Michaels, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Undertaker. Brett the Hitman Hart, uh, Razor Ramon, Diesel. I believe it has Goldberg, does it? Oh, it has McFoley, it has Sting. Oh my god, it doesn't really have Goldberg, that sucked. Oops, just hit the camera. I don't know, it should have Goldberg. I think he came in late 90, in the late 90s, that's probably the reason why. But if they would have the great stars of the 2000s, then they might have Goldberg in it. And they might, they'll, they'll definitely have seen I know that. Alright, I believe this is number 14, guys. Uh, it's from the vault, Shawn Michaels story. This was my favorite Shawn Michaels DVD of all time. Again, this was his first ever DVD, so pretty shocking. Uh, going on to the next one. The best of SmackDown, 3, 10th anniversary. reason why I bought this was because of the countdown. I love countdowns. Uh, that's why I love the greatest stars of the, uh, top, five, top 50 greatest stars of all time. Other than that, I would have hated it, but it was because of the countdown. I loved it. So, that's the same thing with SmackDown. I loved it because of the countdown. And, Raw's 15th anniversary DVD. Another great DVD. It has all the great moments, including Stone Cold moment, which I love. So, I keep this treasure in my collection. Uh, going on to number 10, I believe. It's Star K, The Essential Collection. A great ass DVD uh, has a lot of great WCW matches, including against uh, Rick um, Goldberg and Kevin Nash for the WCW title. 
Oops, I hit the camera again. Uh, yeah, that was Goldberg's first ever loss, so it's a great DVD. You should definitely get it if you don't have it. It's a great collection, great DVD. It'll, it'll, you'll be satisfied. And, by the way, you're welcome. Number 9, Macho Man Randy Savage Ultimate Collection. I get a review on it, so you know why this is number 9. Number 8 is... Uh, the greatest Hell in a Cell of all, oh, the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time, Hell in a Cell 3 did set. They have all the greatest matches ever. Top three I loved was uh, Undertaker vs. Mankind at King of the Ring, Undertaker vs. Shawn Michaels at Bad Blood, and Triple H vs. Cactus Jack at No Way Out. Those three matches truly made this match one of a kind. Today we see, like, Randy Orton vs. Sheamus, and then, uh, and then, uh, what you call it, Undertaker vs. Kane. Those two matches in Hell in Cell wasn't that good. Uh, not, they're nothing compared to these matches in this disc. So I recommend you guys to watch it. Also, the Triple H vs. Chris Jericho match at Judgment Day was a great match. The referee uh, forgot his name. I don't know why I forget people's name. I, I know I'll remember afterwards. But uh, anyways, he got injured on in this. That was his retirement. So that was pretty cool to see a referee retire because of a wrestling match. So, anyways, <clears throat> uh, I believe this is number eight. Yep, number number eight is Rick Flair and the Four Horsemen. Four Horsemen. Because of these guys, tag team division are not the same today. Well, today tag team division sucks, but these were the like the best tag team ever. Uh. You forgot that Chris Benoit was also in it in the WCW, so yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, Hulk Hogan in the Ultimate Anthology. Hulk Hogan is truly a legend. I respect him the most. Uh, if it wasn't for him, wrestling won't be the same today. I always say that to my friends. I always say that to you guys. So Hulk Hogan, he's a legend. He's our legend. Okay. This is number six. History of the ladder match. Ladder match is my favorite match of all time. And pretty awkward, but you know, it is my favorite match of all time. Because they had like great matches at like all the WrestleManias, like the tri triangle ladder match, triangle TLC match, and all that stuff. They had great matches. Uh, it features Shawn Michaels, Edge, Hardys, Triple H, Rock, Chris Benoit, Bret the Hitman Hart, Eddie Guerrero, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, and more. So, yeah, it's a great match. Going on to our top five, guys. Top five. Number five is the rise and fall of WCW. It featured the NWO. Uh, great DVD. Talks about WCW's successes and w WCW's uh, failure and their doom and all this stuff. And then their retirement. I mean, their bankruptcy. It's a really great DVD. But WCW was like the best wrestling company in the history. Uh... If it wasn't for that little mistake they just did, the WWE would have been out of business, not WCW. Plus, Eric Bischoff right there, he was one of the greatest general managers of all time. Uh, he made some right decisions for WCW, but he made some stupid decisions as well. One of them was the Monday Night Wars. He should have not done that. Uh, in the beginning, in the, the, Monday Night, but then the Monday Night Wars were favoring WCW. But afterwards, when Austin and McMahon had the rivalry, they were kicking WCW's ass. And in the end, they had to give up. So, I guess, I guess that was Bischoff's fault about, about that. Anyways, number four. Rise and Fall of ECW. I can't wait to have them make Rise and Fall of TNA. Because, to the truth, even though TNA might be a good wrestling company, their wrestling matches suck sometimes. Not wrestling match, but the promos suck. That's what I think. The promos suck, but I still watch it. That's just my opinion, okay? Uh, TVMA, just like the bloodiest matches DVD. This one's a great DVD. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna say that you should definitely get it. I can't say I can't say it in words because this is a great ass DVD. You should definitely get it without a doubt. Dude, this will blow your mind, okay? Uh, it wasn't that successful, but yet their wrestling was unique and their violence is pretty much over the limit. Alright, going on to our top three. Number three is Bret Hart, best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. 
Bret Hart's DVD in 2005. Great DVD. You should definitely get it. Uh, it's pretty cool. It even has that signature right there. It's not real, but like you know, shows really. It's pretty cool. Bret Hart's a great wrestler. He's like my in my top four, top three wrestlers of all time. Anyways, number two. Ric Flair, The Ultimate Collection. This was a great, great, great DVD. One of the best DVDs ever. Uh, Ric Flair was a legend as well. Uh, this DVD was in 2003. I, con I, I consider this better than the Definitive Collection DVD because this DVD was just, it had more into it. If you see the picture over there, you cannot believe it, but that's Jim Ross. Pretty, pretty bit weird, right? back in the 70s or 80s but anyway so this is a great ass DVD you should definitely get in your connection collection I don't think they have an FYE anymore they might have an Amazon for cheap prices so you should get it from there and number one you guys might disagree on this but it is boom Undertaker Tubestone I'm sorry Tubestone History of the Undertaker this DVD, at first, it didn't really mean that much to me, but first of all, I have to say, my first ever documentary DVD was this DVD. Second, this had all of my favorite Undertaker matches, like the Undertaker vs. Mankind, a Hell in a Cell match, uh, Undertaker vs. Kane and WrestleMania 14, uh, Undertaker vs. Brock Lesnar, No Mercy, 2007, uh, 2002, uh, him vs. Hulk Hogan. A Survivor in 91, him versus Austin and Fully Loaded, and him versus The Rock and 99 King of the Ring. He, I mean, and him versus Bret Hart in 1997 SummerSlam. He had like one of the best matches ever. Uh, I also like all the other DVDs of The Undertaker, like um, This Is My Yard, Undertaker. I thought it talked about his American Badass year, but it actually talked about his previous career as well. This one talked about full. And like if you see the cover is pretty cool too because on the letterings there's like different phases of Undertaker. Yeah, so we like the American Badass, the Dead Man and all that crap. And then his Ministry of Darkness Undertaker, which was probably the scariest one in my opinion. But anyways. So yeah, this is my top twenty favorite WWE DVDs of all time, excluding pay per views. And remember the rest of the DVDs I have that are not in my top 20 does not mean they suck. It means that they're just not good enough. They're really good. They're awesome. Like the Chris Jericho DVD, uh, the Mr. Perfect DVD, and etc. Those are really good. They would be like in my top 50. But it's just that these get, these bad boys just beat the hell out of it, okay? So this was a pretty long vid. So that's all for now, guys. See you guys next time.